it. Whether PubMed is concerned with only policing, whether only with health or with only education, what do you say? No, sir. It covers all. It covers all the functions. It covers every subject. There is no subject that is not there within public administration. There is no subject which is not there in public administration. All right. So everything, every function that the government takes up, every function of the government, every function of the government comes within the purview of public administration. So wherever government goes, whatever functions that the government takes up, all that functions, all that things of the government comes within the purview of what you call uh, public administration. All right. That means, can we say that the scope of public administration is always dependent and determined by the scope of functions of government? Can we say that the scope of public administration is defined by the functions taken up by the government? Yes, sir. What about the others? Pradeep, Pranit, what do you say? Yes, sir. The scope, can we say that scope of public administration is dependent on the scope of functions taken by government, assumed by government. Do you accept this or not? All right. So, this is, uh, I think, to my knowledge, this uh, this question was asked almost about 10, 15 times in UPSC mains exam. Very common question is asked. Right? So definitely, whatever functions the government takes up, all that functions comes into the scope of public administration. Now, can we limit the functions of government? Can we say that this is the end point of our government? No, can we limit or can we restrict the functions of government? No, sir. No. Government can take up any kind of responsibility. Government can take up any kind of functions. So whatever responsibilities, whatever function government takes, obviously it is the scope of public administration. Now, is there any limit or end point of the scope of public administration? No, sir. What about others? Why others are not talking? At least chat. No, sir. So can there be any end to scope of public administration? As long no. as long as there is society, as long as there is government, as long as there is human mankind, right? There will be public administration. The scope of public administration it keeps on increasing. So can we say that the uh, scope of public can decrease or increase or remains constant? Increase. It always increases. It will never diminish. Remember this point. This is very, very, very important. This is how UPSC will ask questions. All right. I'll say one simple thing. The emergence of markets, emergence of private sector has limited the scope of public administration. The emergence of markets or the emergence of private sector has limited the scope of public administration. What do you say? Yes, sir. Yes. I think so. Now, one said yes. But do you agree that the scope of public has decreased or are limited because of emergence of private sector? No, sir. No, sir. All right. So, one said yes, one said no. Now, there is a kind of debate in this class. Yes, sir. Right. Let me take the majority opinion. What others say is important. And at the end, I'll give my own opinion. And this is very, very, very important for exam. All right. So my answer is there is no limit. There is no decrease. Right. Remember, the emergence of private sector or private agencies or markets have brought a new challenges. They have brought a new challenges to the government. Now, government need to deal with a new environment, new agencies. That means what? The government functions have increased. Obviously, the scope of 
public administration has increased. Yes, sir. All right. That is how we can say that the scope of public administration is ever increasing, even in the era of liberalization or privatization or in the era where there is marketplace or private players. The scope of public administration always increases because right, today it can be markets. Can you guarantee the functioning of market? We don't yes. markets break down. When markets break down, yes. I a new challenge. Now, who should uh, what you call take up all these challenges? Who should act as a cushion? Who should act as a shock absorber to all these challenges? Who should take all these challenges? God. Obviously, government and public God. administration within government. Public yes. administration should imagine everything. As a public yes. administrator, you should imagine what will happen next. You should have all the foresight that is required. Because government has politicians. Politicians are amateurs. They are laymen. You are administrator. You are learned man. And as an administrator, you should have all the calculations. You should know what happens next. What happens and what should be the consequence? What should be done? So complex environment. You are public administrators are placed in a complex environment because of this liberalization privatization. And today we see emergence of civil societies because of which there is a, the complexity, the complexity being increased. Now here, the role of public administrators, the role of public administration is much more. That means the scope is more wider. You cannot limit. Have you got my point, Chiranjita? So why I said yes, that it's an increase. All right. So yes, this sir. is you should, you should come to your answer. This is the kind of arguments that you should have in the exam, in the answer. Now take down this question. Write down the question. <clears throat> the scope of public administration. The scope of public administration is ever increasing. The scope of public administration is ever increasing. Explain and substantiate. The scope of public admission is ever increasing. Explain and substantiate. Have you noted? Yes, sir. Right? So, Sir. that means the scope of public admission always depends upon the functions performed by agencies or organizations, but it depends upon the subject. So, this is called a subject matter view. So, we have post job view and the other one is subject matter view. So, these are two different views. These are two different views right? that are, are used to understand, to understand the scope of public administration. All right. And coming to significance of public administration. All right. So in the present day society, this significance, the scope and significance, almost all, we can use them interchangeably. All right. We can say that it is increasing. Can there be a society without public administration? No, sir. No, sir. Society without public administration? Definitely not. To take anything. All right. Providing a basic services, bringing a change, right? Controlling the, uh, what you call, regulating the societies, regulating the revolts and rebellions, right? Pra maintaining harmony, maintaining law and order, right? So, all this depends upon the kind of public administration, right? So, uh, it depends upon public administration. No society can exist. No change can be brought. No development can be brought without public administration. Right? So, according to Brooke Adams, according to Brooke Adams, so you can see all this in our notes. I have posted the notes. So, if you look at the uh, WhatsApp group, you can find the notes. Right? So, you have plenty of quotations. Right? According to Brooke Adams, Public administrators acts as important human faculty, right? Public administrators are important human faculty, right? Who bring 
all the changes, who bring changes, who acts as a cushion to all the revolutions. Right? So use the same link, right, to rejoin the class again. Use the same okay, link sir. to rejoin the class again. Right? So Brooke Adam says that it is the public administrators. It is the public administrators who acts as a human faculty. That is, without the public administration, without public administration, there is no change. There is no development. There is no regulation of, of the society. Even in the previous class, about uh, using the quote of Donham, W.B. Donham. All right? According to Donham, right? if a civilization fails, it is because of If a civilization fails, it is because of failure of public administration. Right? So that is the significance of public administration. That is the importance of public administration. The 